I've received several comments like these on my social media platforms. These comments tell you that you can no longer save stickers people send to you the way that I described in the short. While I send some Genmojis and stickers to myself, I'd like to remind you as a viewer that when you're looking for any tutorial online, you should take into consideration how old the video is before you comment things like, that option isn't there, or anything similar to the comments I showed earlier in the video. Remember that as content creators, we are not always aware of slight changes that have been made to the steps we need to take in any tutorial. The maple leaf you see below is actually a Genmoji. And I've already produced a video on the channel about how to save a Genmoji. After I received all the comments I have stating that the option I describe in my first video is no longer there, I did some research into it and found out that stickers and Genmojis that you don't have on your iOS device are saved in the same way. These first two maple leaves are Genmojis. The next two that I'm going to send will be stickers. If you long press on any Genmoji and go to Emoji Details, you'll be presented with this panel that has a description of the Genmoji and a download icon. To save this Genmoji to your device, just tap the download icon. The Genmoji will be saved in two places, on your stickers panel here, as well as in your Emoji keyboard, where all Genmojis are saved. This is also a Genmoji. And as I said before, you know that because you can see the description right here that was used to create it on another device that I have. This is my main device, and I need to save this Genmoji to this device. So if you tap on the download icon one more time, you can see that the sticker is saved, and the sticker will also be saved on the emoji keyboard. This maple leaf and the one below it are stickers, and you can see that the stickers appear slightly bigger than the Genmojis. Pause the video to compare for yourself. So one way you can get slightly larger Genmojis is to send them as stickers. If you tap on the sticker, you'll see the same emoji details option, but this time you'll only see the word stickers or sticker as well as the download icon. To save this sticker, to your stickers panel, just tap the download icon that looks like the share icon. Repeat this process for any sticker that you want to save. Long press on the sticker and hold, tap emoji details, and then the download icon. These stickers have actually been saved multiple times. If you don't want that many copies of the sticker, you can delete whichever ones you like. Keep watching the video and I'll show you how to delete stickers as well as how to add effects to stickers. Notice that any Genmoji you create can be sent as a sticker and it can be saved in the same way. This sticker is slightly bigger than a Genmoji. If you long press on a sticker that you want to delete, you can see that you've got a delete option. To delete any sticker, just tap the delete option. You may notice that there will be situations where you need to save multiple copies of any sticker. This can happen if you want to add effects to the sticker. Each time you save a sticker, you can add an effect to it, but you need to add that effect at the time that you save it. If you don't, add an effect at the time that you save it, you'll have to save an additional copy of the sticker. Notice that I've saved another copy of my second sticker so that I can add the white outline effect 
which is actually what I was going for when I created this Genmoji. I can add any one of these five effects. Once you've chosen your effect, tap Done, and your effect will be added to the new copy of the sticker that you've saved. If you want to add another, another effect, you need to save another copy of the sticker, long press, and then tap on Add Effect, and choose your effect. In this case, I'll add the white outline effect, as this does a better job than the original effect I was going for when I first created this Genmoji.